Survivor has so many things that interest me. One, it's full of challenges, right? Where they're all physical and mental tasks. Being someone who's both an athlete and an engineer, I was like, I can totally kill it in the challenges. And then just the opportunity to go to Fiji and live in the wilderness, I'm very outdoorsy. And the fact that if you win, you get a million dollars and that is a big draw. The basics of what I do is that I study how seals use their whiskers to locate objects in water and how that can be implemented in sensory tech for the Navy. Seals of the Fosidae family have undulated geometry. So it's wavy in both cross sections. So I compare this undulated geometry to an elliptical cross-section geometry, and I look at how these objects vibrate in response to an upstream disturbance. I have a flapping foil that is generating a vortex wake similar to how a fish swims, and then have this 50 times scaled up seal whisker model that responds by vibrating, which is how seals sense, is by assessing these vibrations that they feel in their whiskers. On submarines, a lot of times they're using sonar, so it sends out a signal that comes back, and that's actually very damaging to marine life. It also gives away crucial information about your own location. So using a sensing system based off of seal whiskers would allow passive sensing based on a vortex wake that would be generated by a passing object. Survivor is a representation of life. Every day you're doing these taxing challenges and figuring out how to get through that with new people and new situations. And doing my research has been like that too. Every time I do an experiment, I come across new problems, new issues with my code, new things that I didn't expect that I have to figure out a way to get through this challenge so I can continue on doing my work. And so it is constantly an effort in overcoming challenges and perseverance for sure.